Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. Uh, today, this one's going to be a little different. I'm going to cover two different things in here uh, that are pretty similar and both requested uh, fairly highly by multiple people recently. So, first of all, we're going to go over the Blueprint book and what exactly you can do with it and uh, you know why, why it's helpful to, to use it. And then also we're going to go over how to import and more importantly, uh, I think export blueprints. Uh, due to me and Zuri's uh, workshop series, a lot of people have been asking how to export blueprints. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show that. And yeah, so here we go. We're going to start with the blueprint book. So before 0 0.13, you had to just keep your blueprints in your inventory or in a box somewhere or something, which was kind of tedious and annoying, especially when you had, you know, 10, 15, 20 of them. But now with this blueprint book, this allows you to store, uh, I believe, 30. Uh, I believe this is 10 and then 3 down. So I had someone ask, you know, why why use it? You know, they, they didn't really understand how, it's that, that, uh, how it is that helpful. Stumbling on my own words there. And, uh, and yeah, so essentially, let's just start out with these in our inventory. So you can see how it would get kind of annoying to have to look through all these and find them and it would crowd up your inventory. So you have your blueprint book. You can open it first of all by right clicking and you can either click and drop blueprints in here. You can also shift click blueprints into here um, from your inventory or uh, hotbar and they will go in here. Now the first one you put in will go into the active blueprint slot which is this slot here. And essentially what this does is this uh, this allows you to use uh, whatever blueprint is in that active slot um, through the blueprint book without actually opening it. So if I take this, if I just click it as if it were a normal blueprint by itself, it's going to use that active blueprint, right? Okay, now this is where I think the real kind of handiness of the blueprint book comes in. You can scroll through these without actually opening the book, okay? If you shift, hold down shift, and if you have a mouse wheel and you scroll up, this is going to go to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and we're back at the beginning. Um, if you scroll down, it goes previous, um, so on and so forth. Now, obviously, we only have you know four or five in here, but if you had, say, 20 in here, this would make it much easier because instead of having to look through your inventory, find it, click it, so on, or even open the blueprint book, you can just do this and then just scroll through. And, I mean, you should pretty quickly realize which one you need because it obviously just shows you right here which one uh, it's going to be. And uh, it'll actually change the active one based on what you leave it on. So this was our our previous active one and it still is. However, say I want our railroad crossing here to be the new active blueprint uh, because maybe I'm building a railway and I want to use it multiple times. Um, I have this. If I just press Q, it's going to you know unselect it. But this is now our active blueprint in our blueprint book. So if I just click this, this is our active one. Okay, so that makes it really helpful. And again, you open it by right clicking and you, I mean, you can move these around if you want to change what order they're in. Uh, you know, you can manually stick one in an active blueprint slot. Essentially, this, this just gives you a better way to organize and keep your blueprints um, in a more confined space. Now, if you only have two or three blueprints you use, maybe you don't want to use it, uh, but a lot of people do end up having uh, many, many blueprints. And this is an excellent way to keep them out of your main inventory uh, w without clogging it up and, and to access them easily. Because, again, you can just left-click this and uh, use an active one, or if that's not the one you want, you can just uh, shift and mouse scroll through it. Uh, if you don't have a mouse wheel, I'm pretty sure you should hopefully um, be able to rebind that. There's, like, many, many key... Uh, rebindings here. Okay, here you go. Um, wait, no, that's copy. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Um, you should be able to... Okay, here you go. Blueprint, book, next, blueprint, book, previous. You can rebind these to, like, if you want to do, like, shift plus or shift minus or whatever you want to do if you don't have a scroll wheel. So there you go. That is um, blueprint, book. That's really the main ways to use it. Um, you can also edit the blueprints from in here if you right click one. Um, you can get cancel it, clear it. Um, you can edit them as well. 
like if I right click this, it essentially tells us that uh, that it's, it's it doesn't want this this pipe built. Um, I can put it back by left clicking it. Um, you know you can do this with buildings. So you can edit these. Um, you can tell it to include modules or not. So you can edit these like normal from within the book. And there you go, guys. Okay. So the next part is exporting and importing blueprints. Uh, we'll start with importing. It's very easy, actually. Uh, if you have a blueprint string, which, you know, if you get it from someone, then, then obviously you just have it. Um, they should give you that string. Uh, if you want to maybe take a blueprint string that you've exported previously and use it on a different world, um, you can copy that. And I will tell you in the exporting part uh, where, where you can actually find those blueprints. But uh, once you have your string, you just copy copy it here. So I'm actually going, I have an empty blueprint here and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to actually clear one of these. Um, let me see here. No, that, that should be fine. Okay. So we have, we have an empty blueprint. You will need an empty blueprint here. If you take a blueprint string, which I'm going to grab now, um, and just hope this isn't one I already have because it might create some errors otherwise. Maybe. I'm, I'm trying to copy it from a uh, notepad file here because that's how they're stored. Um, but I believe I actually got it. So you paste it here. And then if you click this button, this is going to import it onto an empty blueprint. And this was our empty blueprint and now it is this, which is actually just a copy of this but uh that's how you do it so importing is really easy just make sure you have an empty blueprint and um, if you don't it'll it'll tell you and then you copy the string here and hit this button now for exporting blueprints there's two different ways you can do it um, you can either export a single blueprint or you can export all the blueprints in your inventory and hotbar uh, we're going to start with a single blueprint okay so first you're going to want to grab your blueprint um, let's not use that one let's use this one Okay, you just grab it in your hand, and you go up here, and if this is not open, by the way, um, if it's collapsed, uh, you just click this button right up here. If it's collapsed, you click this to open it. Take this, click this first button here. It's going to ask you to save it. Um, we'll just say Rail Junction. You name it, and you do save. And it'll tell you um, railjunction.tech save to script dash output slash blueprint string. Okay, so where this saves your blueprints, um, regardless of which method you use, it saves them, um, well, in your um, blueprint string folder, which is in your script output folder, which is located in your root factorio folder, um, which if you are on the Steam version or use the normal Windows installer, it should be under your app data folder on your computer. Uh, and if you, it's just your root factorio folder, so if you see a factorio folder, you open it, a script output folder should be there. Um, and then within that, there should be a blueprint string folder, and that's where all these text files are um, for any blueprints you've exported. If you used a zip file of factorio, then it's just going to be wherever you unzipped it to. And uh, and yeah, so that that's that way to do it. To export multiple ones... Now, I'm not sure if this actually exports blueprint it's within a blueprint book. Um, I guess we'll find out. But we currently have two in our inventory that are not in the book, so we'll be able to tell pretty easily. And uh, one quick note, I suppose I should have mentioned this, although, um, yeah. This is using the blueprint string mod, um, which I will link in the description. I think there's another mod, actually, that does the same thing as well as a few other features, but... I've used this one the longest, and it's pretty straightforward, so this is just what I'm showing. Um, but yeah, Blueprint String Mod, just install it, um, super easy. Okay, so if we just click this button, we don't need to name it or anything. However, the, the one disadvantage to doing this, a quick note, is it since it doesn't let you name them, it's just going to name them as like um, Exterminator Inventory 1, Exterminator Hotbar 1, um, so on and so forth so you won't actually know which blueprint is which which can be kind of annoying um so i would actually suggest doing them one by one uh that would probably be, just be better since you can actually name them but if you do want to do multiples 
Um, just click this button, and it's going to freeze for a second because I have so many, but it should. Okay, three blueprints, save to script output, slash blueprint string. So, three blueprints, interesting. So probably what it did is it exported this one, this one, and then the active one from here, which is actually the same as this one. But uh, if I look, I have my folder open here. Um... Yeah, we can see here it has Exterminator Toolbar, tool, toolbar 3, Exterminator Toolbar 2, um, and also Exterminator Inventory 34. So the numbers are the space in which they're in. So 2 is obviously this one, 3 is this one, and 34 is here. Uh, so it does just do the active one from your blueprint book. But uh, there you go, guys. I'm not exactly sure what this button does. I guess we'll find out. Um, I think this might like convert it or something. But uh, that's the main things you need to know. So there you go. That's how you import and export blueprints. But uh, but there, there you go. So I would suggest just doing one at a time since you can name them. It'll be much easier to figure out what they are. Um, and it really shouldn't take long unless you're trying to export like 30 or 40 of them or something. But uh, there you go. So link down in the description to the blueprint string mod. Uh, that you can use to export blueprints. Hopefully this helps clear anything up for people who are wanting to do that and make submissions to our workshop series or use them for anything else. And uh, and yeah, hopefully you uh, you find some good uses for the blueprint book. It really is quite helpful uh, once you get you know more than just a couple blueprints going. Uh, it, it's really helpful to organize them. So there you go. Sorry this was a little long, but I did want to make sure I covered everything. And there we go. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, and uh, suggestions, do leave them down in the comments section. But until then, I look forward to seeing you all, and take care.